You are good. You're here every every stream. That makes you the good audience. Well, you've been here every stream since you found out that I was streaming this. <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome back, Twitch. Welcome back, YouTube. Let's go back to just another game, Dengen Rumpa V3, where an, an interesting theory has been proposed. Did Tanko commit suicide? Himiko says no, and I'm inclined to agree with her. There's no reason for Tanko to commit suicide. <laughs> oh, like you. How you found me isn't important. Finding me is the important part. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah? Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, Angie! When did you brainwash Himiko? Tenko's pent up frustration I mean, led her to commit such an atrocity. Tenko was fighting for your attention, Angie was relatively indifferent to it. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore, so she decided to end her own life. What? But if she was gonna kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in a killing game, right? To kill everybody else. It's to take us down with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Creepy Kokichi. Take us down? She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. Who would do such a thing like that? Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her, but still. But what are you saying? Tinko wasn't like that. She told me. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. What if all of that was just a lie? A lie? Wait! We should believe Tenko's last words! You know, I would say that... Pretty much everybody here already knows what you're referring to, but it probably is a good idea. Just in case there's somebody here who isn't normally part of our audience but like we have played through the first three games so the chances of spoilers are pretty low the true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything <laughs> yeah whoever would do something like that's really kind of a bastard or a bitch depending on how they uh, identify Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. Who would do something like that? But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? Certainly no one lady would hate. <laughs> People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. <laughs> naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her.
This is, um... Wow. <laughs> Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. <laughs> oh, hey, Maki's come on. embarrassed. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different yeah, backgrounds. I was about to say, yeah. So for now, <laughs> let's agree to disagree. I sitting here trying to rem trying to remember the name of the anime, but yeah, this is like some uh, believe in the me who believes in you shit right here. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? <laughs> Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Tinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. Oh, they are? Uh, I didn't know that. Kind of makes sense though, because I kind of do hear, kind of do hear Kamina a little bit in Kaito. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. Did they kind of make her ex into a chi? It looks a little bit like a chi windmill. Me too. Gonta, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. Oh, is this going to be the split debate? Uh, no. All right. Proper reason. I'll give you a reason. Is there a reason? Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? Trust the me who trusts in you? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. I don't believe Tenko would kill herself because of what she said. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. She said, see you guys after. I doubt she had a sudden change of heart. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that, and if we keep thinking, we'll find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tenko. I'll make them all believe. Brainwashing! Or logic, one or the other. What we got? Money coming file three, Cage Child take us last so moments. Hole in the center. Be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Tinko's not that kind of person! But if Tinko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. Makes sense to Gunta. secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last Nope. Ah, damn it. What? Oh no! So what? far, suicide seems to be. I thought it would be the Monokuma file. Okay, maybe I, I thought the Monokuma file said that, uh... Oh, wait. Hang a sec. Is it Tenko's last moments then? That's probably deep and probably not enough to kill her immediately? Am I gonna have to lie? Is this where I lie? The best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. Um. Let's watch to the end. Maybe you'll give me a hint. It would explain how she died during the sands. She could have secretly brought the sickle. And then stabbed herself with it. Is this like the required it. perjury? Finally, with the last of her strength. Consider, she consider, the consider. Underneath the floor. Consider, consider, 
Everyone thinks that Tenko committed suicide, but only because they're latching onto the easiest answer. To get out of this, I need to make them think their suicide theory wouldn't work. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Okay, so yeah, I think I've got a lie. to take us down with her. So I gotta. So she hid her true intentions. So I gotta turn take us last moments in the fact that she did die instantly. But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the sands. That was kind of where he gave she me the hint, too. Secretly back he said, unless I thought and then she died instantly. With it. Finally, with the and then I missed. She threw the All right. Let me try that. Her dead cat inside. So she died during the fence. She could have secret the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last. And then I missed again. Seriously? Chumunks! Chumunks! More chumunking! She secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed her with it! Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. I'll reveal the truth! Splish! Perjury slimy! Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor. Because she died instantly. I'm getting better at this lying thing. Instantly. <laughs> Believe in me, Maki. Believe in my detective work, damn it. Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in God murder. God damn it, Kokichi, why do you have to... It's <laughs> one of the producers so hard as you on the screen. Well, I appreciate it. Maki. For the love of God, Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Tenko died instantly. What? As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. I love how Kokichi picks up on the fact when you lie every fucking time. Thank you, Maki. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? <laughs> Do you want to die? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway, Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? I guess it makes sense that we didn't use we didn't use the Monokuma file for that because people would just look at it and go, hey, you're fucking lying. Instead, like, it's just, we're the only ones who knew how to examine a body. Just like I thought. We Tanko faked an autopsy. Wonder who would do that. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tenko during the seance. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Together! Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need some kind of clue that will help me solve this mystery. I have the fucking clue. It's been brought up several times. Just not here. Alright. The sound during the seance. Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. 
Hey, we haven't had a... Failed. We haven't the had a great was perfect, and yet it failed. How utterly strange. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. Ugh, God damn it. I'm more concerned about how dark it got in there. I mean, it was totally pitch black. My job was to relight the candles. Moving along the walls was seriously tough. <laughs> it's pitch black during the seance. That limits what could have happened. Just stay calm, think there must be some Did kind of clue. Out of the ordinary during the seance? There is something that bothers me. The fact that the seance fits. Nobody the cares. Was perfect, and yet it failed. How utterly strange. Now that I think about it. While we were all singing the song. The happy song. I heard something fall. Damn it! <sighs> I'm more about how dark I know that's not how you lead a shot. Just. <laughs> Did anything seem I don't out of the ordinary? Play shooters and choose to succeed. I heal. I'm a healer. The, the ritual was perfect. And yet perfect. How utterly strange. I play support, I it, and I play the supports where you don't have to aim. While we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. There! I he agree! Heard. Everybody hates me. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but this this is like the hap happiest song I've ever heard. Also, this is the first time that's been in caps. It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really <laughs> hard. It could have fallen down. Fallen oh, down? There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? I thought something fell, but... The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> Got it in one! Hmm, a loud sound, like something hit the floorboards. <laughs> Maybe that sound had something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. Um, what am I looking for here? Hang on, what's the question? Probably the scoreboard. This is it. I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? She should have been mercy. There's always a mercy in my games. Always a mercy. It was the sound of an intense impact. Because I like flying around and being a being a uh, pretty blonde. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That is true. There would have had to be a strong impact to make that sound. But what was it? What could it possibly be? Alright then, let's go with that. We've all <laughs> gotta put our heads together now. Uh, Myra, Moira aims a little bit. She has to aim her, uh, her ultimate beam and her glowing balls, her big shiny balls. She's got to aim more than Mercy does. So what made the floorboard come loose? <laughs> Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. 
Maybe the wooden statue fell over. No. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. <laughs> but we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Uh, okay, there we a go. The floorboard that comes oh, loose when really? you step on it is dangerous. God, <laughs> it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that, Mew. D don't be stupid. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? <laughs> <laughs> One would have made a strong enough impact without the floor part list. Okay, I think uh, I think we Someone need to use the, the cross the piece list. with. Uh, uh, that would look at the down. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was staring up in a cage. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one under the floor. <laughs> Someone must have stomped through the floor. I agree with I that. Agree. <laughs> Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation... One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Also, I got splinters. Bitch. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? What did they stand to gain? That's the question. So that case, I'll need to think carefully about the cross piece and floorboard. Tinko's body was at one end of the loose floorboard, and the cross piece that had been cut was on the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was outside of the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces was cut. The other two were intact. One of them was right under Tenko and the other was in the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stomping on the floorboard? Come on, think! Okay. Uh, let's see here. There we go. I think there is a scene and there might have been a sawing. And it might have led to a killing. If they couldn't bring the blade to Tenko, they brought Tenko to the blade. I need to refill my focus. I'm looking for an F. There they are. And that one. I see now. It's not really an anagram though. I don't know why they say that. That's right. The floorboard might have been used as a seesaw. Uh -huh. A seesaw? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close <laughs> to the cage. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece, The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. 
You know that must have freaked the fuck out of her when it happened, too. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Her whole body lifted up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? They couldn't have killed Tenko like that, unless they used the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Huh? How? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. The floorboard seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusions can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been that is consistent with the evidence. Where was the sickle when Tenko was killed? It was the top of the cage. That's it! She was dead almost instantly. The sickle was at the top of the iron cage, with the blade facing down. The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in her crouch position. But with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. It's a pretty fucking clever murder. Bringing the victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. The sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. That impact make floorboard come loose. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. <laughs> How's that old-fashioned? Wait, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy! Thank you. The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Again, this is like stuff I'd expect from, our, from uh, Case Closed. Also known as Detective Conan, which is a really good, really fun to read manga series if you want to find it. It's been going on forever. It's almost gone on as long as One Piece. Alright, that one got me. You, don't, you startled me with that one. Kudos, culprit! You did a great job keeping me entertained. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. That was kind of a weird Why her? Bitch. Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. <laughs> the only one? Why is that? Nick loves it when I get scared from that one. Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? How the fuck would she have even known that the seance was gonna happen? Like, this whole thing requires... Never mind. I don't want to say anything. The middle room, it's always the best for stuff like this. Oh yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! Sure, the room had to be prepared, but everything else had to be prepared too! 
She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. <laughs> you even had instructions for it in your lab. How could she have possibly figured out that this seance exists? Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her <laughs> seesaw trap ahead of time. I do like that sprite, though. <laughs> then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. It's magic. Then, M murder she is Tenko, magic. All according to plan. That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? With my magic. In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically <laughs> killed her. Wait! We don't know that! Unless that right? was also a lie. But needs to be a soundbite. He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tanko, right? Kill Tanko? Kill Tanko. Kill Tanko. <laughs> my, my magic. I'll work on it. I killed Tanko? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? It is true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea. But does that mean that Himiko really killed Tinko? Did something like that really happen? Something so cruel? Hey! Class Troll Intermission! And I think, YouTube, this is as good a time as any. In fact, this is a perfect time, YouTube, to go ahead and uh, call it an episode. Twitch, I think I'm going to take a five-minute break. Get up, stretch my legs, take my final break of the night. So I'll see you in five minutes. YouTube, thank you so much for coming out and joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this all, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. And I'll see you then. Twitch, I will see you in five minutes. Dying on